Hello everybody. In this video, I am talking about how to integrate a Spring Boot application with Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. In order to do that, I am using Keyclock Spring Boot Client Adapter. We talked about Keyclock Client Adapters in a previous video. If you are interested in knowing more about Client Adapters, you can watch that video. I have included the link in the description area. As mentioned, I am using a Spring Boot client adapter. It internally uses OpenID Connect protocol to secure the application. First, I will take you through the key clock configurations and then I will come to the Spring Boot application. Now I am on key clock admin console. You can see here I am inside a realm named Hexa Defense. First, I am going to create a client using client management section. I am going to create a new client. I set the client name as Spring Boot Client. Here I am going to do few configuration changes. First I will put the access type as confidential. I am going to give a valid redirect URI. So this URL is an endpoint of my application. Also I provide an admin URL. This URL is used by Keyclock to push revocation policies such as single logout requests. Normally, this URL is the base URL of the client application. This is implicitly supported by Keyclock client adapters. If you are not using an adapter, you need to manually implement it. But it is an optional feature. Here I am providing the base URL of my application as the admin URL. Now I am going to save my client. Now my client details are saved. There's another thing I want to mention here. You can get the credentials of the client using this section. We are going to use it soon. Next, I'm going to create a client role. I'm creating a new role. I brought the name as client admin. client role was added. Now I am going to assign this role to a particular user. I am going to use a step. I am going to assign the newly created role to hexa user. I am going to role mapping section. I am going to select the client first. This Spring Boot client we just created and this is the role belongs to Spring Boot client. I am going to assign it to this user. Now you can see this role name is listed under effective roles section. Now configuration part is done. Next move on to our Spring Boot application. Here I have already created the application. This is a Spring Boot application which support Java 8 and Gradle is the build tool. I made this project using Spring Initializer. You also can easily generate a project using Spring Initializer. Let's go through the Gradle file first. Here I have included Keyclock BOM which stands for Bill of Material. After that, I have included two dependencies. One dependency is Keyclock Spring Boot Starter. Other one is Spring Boot Starter Web. Those are the only dependencies I have included in this file. Let's go to main Java class. This is my Spring Boot application file. 
there's nothing special included. I have created a single controller class named simple controller which is a rest controller request mapping path is api further i have added two endpoints as public and private now i move into application dot properties file which has lots of important stuff in the first line i have included the port as 8081 then i have included a set of properties related to keyclock client we created few minutes ago in keyclock server keyclock enabled properties used to enable or disable the client adapter i put keyclock.realm property as extra defense because newly created client resides inside the keyclock realm this is my keyclock server url i have put ssl required property as none since I am not using SSL for this communication. We use keyclock resource property to put the keyclock client's name. This is the name of the client we created few minutes back. Then we use another property keyclock credentials secret. This is the credentials keyclock generated for the Spring Boot client I showed you when I was creating the client. Also, this is another special property use resource role mappings if this property is true this client adapter will search for users roles inside client related attributes if this value is false adapter will search for roles inside realm related properties those are the properties related to the client we created after that we come to another important section in this section we define secure endpoints and roles required to access them here i have created a single security collection i have given it a name and a pattern you can see here according to the pattern private endpoint is the secure endpoint in order to access that endpoint user should have the client admin role now i'm going to run this application application is started now i'm going to access this public url it is accessible Keyclock did not ask us to authenticate because that particular URL is public, it is not secure. Now I am going to access the private URL. Now Keyclock ask us to authenticate because the private URL is, is secured using Keyclock client adapter. I am going to provide the user and password. You need to keep in mind this user has the role client admin we created earlier otherwise client adapter will not allow this user to access private url now it is success now i'm going to access the hexa defense console this is the console related to hexa defense realm since i have already logged in the previous tab i did not want to insert my username and password again now i am going to log out from the console now let's try refreshing this page now it again ask our credentials because once we logged out from the key clock, the application also automatically log out. So with this, we came to the end of this video. If you have any questions about this video or about key clock, please put them in the comment section. 
i am more than happy to answer them see you soon in the next video thank you very much